Mm. Can you hear that? That is the thunder. That one's okay. This one's horrible. Mmm. Mmm. Look at how gorgeous. Oh. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna start the week. I'm gonna do the week, y'all. Show you guys what I'm eating, all right? First things first, it is Monday, and we are having some tofu on rice noodles. Well, tofu, kind of like a stir fry. Here are our rice noodles in there. I know there's something in there. It's just from the other spoon. And here is the remainder. So we have tofu, I just fried it, and then I made a sauce. There's some red peppers, spinach, mushrooms, um, little sesame seeds on top there. There's garlic and onions in there and broccoli. If you can see it, I think that's everything. It's a lot, y'all. Let's have a little bite for you guys. The sauce has like soy sauce, rice vinegar, a bunch of good stuff in it, maple syrup. Mmm, delicious. It's a perfect quick meal and I need that. I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Welcome back to day two of what I ate in a week. It is like thunderstorming out, y'all. It is crazy. It's not raining that much, but it's like thundering and it's February, so like. But anyways, I thought I would show you my lunch. Today I'm making some tofu egg. It is my go-to lunch meal, y'all. I don't know if it's the turmeric or the black salt, but you know, sometimes it can mess with my stomach, make it gassy, stuff like that. Sometimes I take a break from it and come back. But anyways, here is our prepared tofu egg. It is looking not very yellow, but it looks much yellower once it's cooked. Normally I use gluten-free bread and make a sandwich, but I'm going to be using my corn tortillas. These are my go-to. Um, it doesn't matter, I use white or yellow, but they say gluten-free there. Popo catap. Yes, the ingredients. I always feel really good after I eat them and everything, so I love them a lot. They're really good and versatile for many things. I don't like love corn tortillas. They are not the same thing as flour tortillas, but I have learned to love them, okay? The main thing is you really gotta heat them. You really got to heat them up on the stove, y'all. So that is going to be lunch today. I'll show you when it's all finished. The tofu egg recipe, I'll make sure I include it. It is from It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. I add some black pepper into the mix. Nutritional yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, turmeric, and black salt. I believe that's the whole thing. So tofu egg's almost done. I'm just going to flip around a little bit. And so this is frozen tofu defrosted and then I just crumble it down and because I squeezed out all of the moisture all the liquid I'm going to add in some liquid to give it that more like juicy scrambled egg texture and I'm just going to put in some Zaya cheddar the stove is off the cheese is in let's put a lid on it Our tortilla. You want to make sure you don't brown it too much. That's probably too much. This one's not as bad. This one, I definitely like forgot about it. I got distracted. So it's not going to wrap as good. This one's a little better. We're going to keep our eye on this one, y'all. Like literally 30 seconds and flip. Okay. It's been like 10 seconds and I think it's good to flip it. So we're going to do another 10 seconds and be done. We have our Hellman's vegan mail. Egg. Sorry, the lighting's like not that great. It's so dark from it storming outside. We have our Daya cheese, of course. And that one looks really good. Let's wrap her up and eat them. This one's probably going to be the best one. This was that last one. See how nice and flimsy it is? That one's okay. This one's horrible. All right, I'm eating the crappy one first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. My go-to. Obsessed. That water just makes them like juicy. When we first were making these, we noticed that they were really dry. Like Clay would refuse to eat it any way other than in a wrap because he would take a bite and it would just all fall out of the sandwich or whatever. And he's like, it's so dry. And like, I noticed too. And I'm like, oh my God, like it's so dry. But then when I was cooking it and like, let me add a little water and it just 
gives it which is weird i know i'm i'm pressing all the water out and then i'm just adding water back in i know you could add vegetable broth probably that'd probably be really good but anyways that's it for lunch i will see you for dinner <laughs> it is dinner time y'all we we're back from our run and we were like oh no we didn't prep dinner and clay was like um what about some protein pancakes i'm down for some protein pancakes okay usually we don't put protein in it but because i have the new peanut butter it's not a new flavor but i have a new bag of good protein check out my review if you guys haven't heard about them before i'll leave my code and my link in the description below if you want to try them out let's see the pancakes we have our vegan base cell margarine that is plant sorry guys wow our compliments maple syrup this is as well the very dark strong one okay let's see the insides i put chocolate chips Two. Mmm. Mmm. Kind of tastes uncooked, not gonna lie. It's weirdly like soft in the middle. Well, uh, they're crispy on both sides, so it gotta be cooked. I think it's just the protein. Maybe cook it longer, you think? Did you cook it normal? No. I put them in the oven. It's vegan anyways, y'all. I put them in the oven as I'm cooking them. So if they were uncooked in the middle, like they've been in the oven for like 10 minutes. So they should be good in the middle. Anyways, these are really freaking good. Maybe just make them thinner, I guess, if you like don't want it to be mushier in the middle. I do have to add extra milk to the batter because of the protein is extra dry ingredients, obviously. These are really freaking good. Very good flavor. There's not, they don't taste like proteiny. Like, do you think they taste proteiny? Like a little bit, but like, it's good though. I like it. Yeah. It's like the sweetness though from the protein. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. And I put like a, um, one scoop in. Mm. Super delicious. Um, I'll have to try it with vanilla one day. That is our supper meal for tonight. I'll put the pancake recipe in the description for you guys below and I will see you tomorrow. Welcome to day three. It is Wednesday. Here is our dinner meal today, y'all. And it is looking fabulous. I've outdone myself. I have mashed potatoes. I used vegetable broth instead of any plant milk, so not gonna be any creaminess, but that's fine. I put some fresh green onions on top there. I also have vegan margarine, salt and pepper, garlic powder in the mashed potatoes. So here I have soy curls. I also have onions, mushrooms, red peppers, and then some spinach wilted in there as well. This is my go-to for using on soy curls especially when i'm lazy medium garlic and it is vegan by accident and gluten free so love it it's like a sweet garlic sauce i'm gonna dig in and we will see you tomorrow welcome back to day four y'all we have some breakfast sandwich tofu rice and asparagus have it in the pan just keeping it warm while our asparagus just some steam in it i'll have the link for this in the description super super easy super fast you don't even really have to marinate it that long especially if your tofu is frozen and then defrosted and pressed it just soaks up all the juices, y'all. Really good for sandwiches, wraps, salads, and we're just eating on top of rice. Well, I would say lazy, but like it's a really quick and easy meal. Rice, a steamed veg, and this tofu. It's taste test time. I did put a little bit of this hot sauce. It's a local hot sauce that I found in our fridge. It says local wildflower honey, so I don't know if that's actually like bee honey or like, you know what I mean? So anyways, um, it's not too spicy, I don't think. Let's give it a... I figured it would taste good with... I don't know, it just looked plain without um, any sauce, so... Mmm. I don't know how I feel about it. So the breakfast sandwich tofu tastes like what you'd put on a breakfast sandwich, like with eggs. So it's like a smoky flavor and it works really well with like so many things so i don't know if how i like this even on rice is kind of like weird honestly usually if i did this i would do it with potatoes but anyways that is it for today i will see you tomorrow for our friday meal welcome back to day five of what i ate in a week today y'all we got some chili i don't know i was just feeling like chili and i'm like let me make a chili we don't have any mock meats or anything in it it is just veggies um veggies on uh, veggies we have red lentils for the protein sources and beans of course here it is look at how gorgeous 
put some spinach in there, frozen corn. Look at, it just looks so good, y'all. And I just added a little bit of Daya cheese. I would normally put some to tofu sour cream um, as well, but we are out at the moment. I'm just gonna mix this in to let it melt. We have some gluten-free toast in the oven right now, getting toasty. Here's Clay's. He put some fresh green onions on here too. And he just needed to add this in. And green jelly. We have our Little Northern Bakehouse toast today. The brown wide slice, I think is what it's called, or multi-grain something. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love doing tortilla chips too, but I already took the bread out of the freezer to defrost. So, well, I guess we're have sticking with the bread. This is honestly like the best chili I've ever made. I added cinnamon to it this time, a few dashes, and I doubled the cumin. I use vegetable broth instead of water. It is so good, y'all. And most of the time I'm like, something's missing is too bitter or like something's just off to me. But y'all, this is so good. I have to see if I've made a chili video before because if I haven't, I'm gonna make this and post it up. Delicious. Anyways, that'll be it for today. I will see you tomorrow for our Saturday video. It is Saturday today and we have, as I'm just like wafting my plate, day six of our what I ate in a week. This is the meal we made, I made for today. Tofu with a Korean barbecue sauce, some sauteed red peppers on rice. Y'all, this looks and smells so good. I cannot wait to try it. Let's see, I have never fried tofu to this extent before. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, that sauce is strong. Holy, that is delicious, y'all. Okay, this is definitely getting written in the book, all right? I will make sure to put the link to this recipe in the description as all the recipes. This is a must try, so good. Okay, that's it for Saturday today. I will see you tomorrow for our last day. Welcome back to day seven and we decided to make up some pasta with some Beyond Sausage. And it's actually from last night. Some gluten-free pasta, Beyond Sausage. I threw in some spinach, red peppers, mushrooms, onions, pasta sauce. Oh, it was so good. And then we put a little cheese and mixed in the cheese. Nice Sunday meal before getting ready for the week this week. That is my full week, Monday to Sunday of what I ate in a week this week. So let me know if you wanna see more. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.